Hello everyone! In today's video, we are diving into the process of getting a work visa and finding a job in Luxembourg. That is the world's richest country in the world. As per purchasing power parity, that is the money that generates each individual. Did you know that you can start earning a high salary of at least 4,000 euros per month in just 7 days? And the best part is, there's no age limit, and you don't need an agent or consultant to apply. Yes, you heard it right. Did you know that Luxembourg is a fantastic country with many well-paying job opportunities? Due to its low population, Luxembourg has recently started giving work visas to people from outside of Europe as well. This means there's a growing need for both skilled and unskilled workers. Even if you're new to the job market, you can apply for a visa with relatively few requirements, and many people get approved. We'll get you covered about the visa process later. First things first, let's talk about the benefits of working in Luxembourg. One of the biggest advantages is the high visa acceptance rate. Once you secure a job offer, your chances of getting a Luxembourg work visa are very high. Plus, the approval process is quick, typically taking between 7 to 15 days. Compared to other European countries, there's less competition for jobs in Luxembourg, and English is widely spoken, making it easier for expats. Now let's talk about the financial aspect. Workers in Luxembourg get paid really well, with salaries starting at 4,000 euros per month for regular jobs. If you have a high-skilled job, you could be making over 100,000 euros annually. Even unskilled jobs pay well, with minimum monthly earnings ranging from 2,500 euros to 3,000 euros. And here's a bonus. Transportation in Luxembourg is completely free for buses, trains, and trams. Luxembourg's location is another major perk. Surrounded by France, Belgium, and Germany, it's like living in the middle of a cool neighborhood. And since it's part of the Schengen area, you can travel freely to 26 European countries with just one visa. But how do you find these lucrative job opportunities? You can search online on Luxembourg ADM, the National Employment Agency that provides extensive information on professions in shortage and releases quarterly reports on skill shortages. Gitchit.lu, which is the official government portal that offers updated information on occupations experiencing shortages, and Setafop, European Center for the Development of Vocational Training, that provides reports on priority occupations with specific data for Luxembourg. Also, they are worth mentioning, Eurostat, that is the Statistical Office of the European Union, and the Luxembourg Ministry of Economy website, that offer comprehensive data on skill shortages across the EU. So, you may ask, what are the hot areas in which there is a shortage of workers in Luxembourg? As per Gitchit and Setafop, this is the hot shortage list. In the financial services sector, there's a demand for investment bankers, wealth managers, risk management specialists, and compliance officers. Moving on to information technology, the need is high for software engineers, cybersecurity specialists, data analysts, and IT project managers. In the healthcare industry, there's a significant demand for doctors, nurses, psychologists, and pharmacists. For engineering and manufacturing roles, the need is for mechanical, civil, electrical, and production engineers. And in other areas, there's a call for professionals in logistics, the hotel and tourism industry, legal experts, and multilingual professionals. Some of the top companies in Luxembourg include CFL Group, Amazon, and POC, among others. If you're looking for unskilled jobs, the hospitality and tourism industry is your best bet. Hotels and restaurants are always on the lookout for housekeeping attendants, cleaners, bartenders, and more. You can find job listings on official websites or job portals like LinkedIn, Jobs.lu, and Indeed. Now as we promised, let's dive into the Luxembourg work visa process. Well, hold on first to your seats because we have some fantastic news. Europe has introduced a revolutionary system called the EVA system, which ensures that your visa gets approved in lightning fast speed, usually within 24 to 72 hours. The approval rate is incredibly high, and guess what? There's less competition for jobs compared to other countries. It's like hitting the job jackpot. First off, you'll need to find an employer who can provide you with a job offer. Once you have that, your employer will represent your application in Luxembourg. They'll need to obtain a certificate of right to hire third country nationals from the National Employment Agency. Once approved, you'll need to apply for a visa through Viesa Global, for example. That is the world's largest visa outsourcing and technology services specialist. So if you're from a non-EU country and planning a trip to Luxembourg, You'll need a valid travel document along with a visa issued by a consular authority from one of the Schengen area countries. What's the Schengen area, do you ask? 
It's a zone comprising 26 European countries where visa holders can move freely without border checks. Pretty cool, right? So depending on your nationality, you may or may not need a visa to enter Luxembourg. Now, when it comes to visas, there are different types depending on the duration and purpose of your visit. Just like other EU countries, Luxembourg offers a variety of visas for foreigners looking to spend time in the nation. The main options include short-term C visas for stays of up to 90 days, long-term D visas for stays exceeding 90 days, and the coveted EU Blue Card, only for high-qualified workers, for maximum flexibility. Now, when it comes to working in Luxembourg, the D visa is often the go-to choice for foreign workers. While the EU Blue Card sounds fancy, it actually comes with stricter requirements, making the D visa a more suitable option for many. If you're applying for a Schengen visa, you'll need to do so at the consulate of the country you plan to visit. If you're visiting multiple Schengen states, you'll apply at the consulate of your primary destination or the country whose external borders you'll cross first. Typically, you'll need to apply for your visa in the country where you legally reside. If there's no Luxembourg consulate there, you'll submit your application to the consulate with territorial competence for visa applications. Oh, and one more thing. If your documents aren't in German, French, or English, you'll need to get them translated by a sworn translator. It's a bit of a process, but hey, rules are rules. Make sure you have all the necessary documents, including a copy of your valid passport CAE, proof of qualifications, and other supporting documents. Initially, you'll receive a one-year visa, which can be extended later on. Now, let's talk about taxes. We know it's not the most exciting topic, but it's crucial to understand how much tax you'll be paying if you work in Luxembourg. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Simply open your Google browser and search for Luxembourg Tax Calculator. Click on the link and voila. You can enter your annual income to get an estimate of your tax obligations. It's always better to be prepared, right? And that's a wrap on Luxembourg work visas. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to the European Hub channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.